J.D. Wentz, the Republican candidate for vice presidency, has outlined a plan to end the war. According to him, Russia, Ukraine and Europe want to end this war. So Trump will propose the following peace agreement. A demilitarized zone along the current front line. The zone should be heavily fortified so that the Russians do not invade again. Russia receives guarantees of neutrality from Ukraine. And Ukraine doesn't join NATO or any allied institutions. In Ukraine, we ironically call such plans reliable and precise as a Swiss watch. Because all this should work in words, but it will not. Because you think that Putin will give up part of the Kursk region? Or does this requirement only work on Ukrainian territory? So it is somehow one-sided and takes into account Moscow's wishes and doesn't take into account international law and international borders. In principle, like any alternative to the Ukrainian plan. Regarding strengthening the demarcation line, which will be heavily fortified so that the Russians do not invade again, what will stop the Russians from using drones to strike Ukraine? Who will react? International organization with harsh condemnation? After all, no one even reacted to the murder of three Red Cross workers by Russians yesterday. No one reacted to Russian drones on NATO territory. What will stop Russia from attacking again, as it did in 2022 after the illegal annexation of Crimea? Or maybe Wentz wants to propose placing NATO troops on the demarcation line. But the third point of Wentz's plan is Russia receives guarantees of neutrality from Ukraine, and Ukraine doesn't join NATO or any allied institution. But this means that Ukraine is losing sovereignty, because each country and its people have the right to decide for themselves which alliance to join. By the way, such a guarantee is another reason for Russia to attack again. After all, no one is stopping Putin or his successor from saying that we learned about secret talks about joining the EU or NATO, and therefore we started a new war, which the Russians will call a special military operation 2.0. By the way, they never tire of reminding that the Budapest Memorandum still exists, in which both Russia and the US, among other things, promise to respect the independence, sovereignty, and, importantly, borders of Ukraine. We have already realized that the Kremlin is not fulfilling its obligations. Now it's Washington's turn. In any case, Vladimir Zelensky will present our Ukrainian plan for victory, for ending the war, to Donald Trump as well. And we really hope that the US president that will be elected will be adhered to this, no matter who the Americans will choose.